Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 19th. I'm Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar. And today I want to point out something on my Market Watch economic calendar. Today, Wednesday, January 19th, actually nothing important is going to happen, but I'm going to give you a long range heads up because next week, Wednesday, January 26th, 2 p.m. FOMC statement. So you want to mark that on your calendar because those FOMC announcements tend to move the market. I'll get to that next week. So I just wanted to give you that long range heads up. Moving over to the morning business news, uh, all flags are in the green. Not surprisingly, after yesterday's big uh, steep drop, that's a recovery for overnight futures. There is one news article I want to point out to you, and you might think it's it's the uh, big news about um, Microsoft buying Activision, but that's not it. It's right down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going down to the bottom. Going down to the bottom right here. Americans think they need 1.9 million to retire. Do you have 1.9 million to retire? If you are not going to have anywhere near that kind of money to retire, you're going to need a way to bring in money after your job leaves you. So let's move over to what I do, which is teach S&P E-mini and micro E-mini futures trading. Yesterday's trading zone markets uh, briefly pierced the bottom range of the zone and continued down through the day. And prices closed down uh, here at the 4570 level around thereabouts. So Let's talk about yesterday's close, 45.70, which is typically a target that we put on our chart. At least I put them on, on my chart every day because uh, gaps or windows typically close. But let me show you the big picture. This is a S&P. This is not an E-mini. E this is the S&P uh, on a three-minute chart. And this was yesterday, January 18th. And notice that the market opened with a very significant gap. It's a, it's, 50, it's a 50 point gap right here where the market opened and eventually this gap will close. Now, so we have a gap here from, uh, from Friday. Monday was a holiday. We have a gap here from Friday, 46.62. And the market closed down here at 45.70 yesterday on the 18th. Now today, the markets are going to open Our market closed yesterday at 4570, 4571. And right now, futures are trading at 4589. So the question is, will they close the gap? Now, we're uh, this video, I'm making this video about an hour before the market opened. Will they close the gap from 4589 to 4570? So uh, within an hour, they could possibly close this 20 point gap. Very, very likely they they will. But still in all, there is going to be this gap that remains up to 46.63. And the market might not see that level uh, anytime soon, because right now, if we're, we're trading uh, about 100 points below that. So after the and after the big decline yesterday, which is this gap, plus the decline from the open at 45 at 46.12 to 45.77, we have uh, significant ground to cover to make up if we're going to close uh, both the uh, gap and the range from yesterday. Wait till you discern the trend today. And that, that's basically the best information or the best advice that I can give. Wait till the market shows you any kind of trend. Wednesdays typically tend to be choppy. Yesterday, Tuesday, was a choppy day. We can see this in the, in the, in the movement. Yesterday, Tuesday was a very choppy day, and we're likely to see the same thing today. Anyway, trade safely. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. This is Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar, and I'll see you in my next video.